Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Oriola Jimon and this is Money Machine. And today we're going to be looking at something briefly how to do remote tax on your mobile phone. Remote tax is now available on your mobile phone. And uh, a lot of people get hung, uh, get hooked up on the remote tax uh, mobile um, phone uh, running. Now, this is one of the reasons why. One of the reasons why your you can't run remote tax on your mobile phone. One fact, one of the reasons is because you have not done remote tax, the introduction to remote tax on the system. Now, if you remember in our last video that there was a a, a kind of update, we did some training. Let's go back to it. Uh, okay. Training Jamilo. We did some training. We did a tax in our first video. We did a tax to complete our training. Okay. We did a tax to complete our training where we where we had to where we had to draw a cup. We have to um we have to annotate and label cups and all of that the plates and stuff like that now you have to finish that introduction before using your mobile phone to do remote tax so you, what you have to do is to get a system and run that first then when you're coming back when you open then you go to your phone your mobile phone and you open your mobile phone you'll be able to you're able to see something like this all right i'm using my system although it is applicable to your phone so the first thing to do is to finish the first introduction on your system on your pc or anybody's system then you can return to your phone now when you're back to your phone you just um, click start um continue because you've done those things you've done these things you've done these things yes you are working on interest rate and want to share it on your social media no you've done everything here so you just need to cross across and go 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 okay all right this project now this will cover flamingo too people have been asking me how to pass the flamingo test so we're going to go through this together we're going to go through this together. Uh, yeah, we're going to go through this together. And I wish uh, somebody also said he wanted me to talk about the Flamingo. So we are doing this together. All right. You see, in the Flamingo Bullet Project, you will help shoppers understand pieces of text from a product web page specifically. You will look at the text full declarative all right now if you want to pass remote tax i beg of you you have to calm down and read every single word so that you can actually get them so um should i post the video should i post the video so i can read all right so we read together we read together so that you have your own page open as you watch me also reading and doing everything together so it's simple now from this from this part you are only to read the bullet provided in the red box everything outside the red box is none of your business then the next thing is to check the product page through the product link okay then you match part of the bullet to the specific categories and we have them here general product 
information, colors and materials, style information, size and measurement, instructions, product IDs, clothing specific, and all of that. You have them listed here. Okay. How to complete a tax. Okay. Um, yeah, so all these, all these, uh, copy and paste. Now, another fifth step is copy and paste the parts of the bullet that match the portrait. It's a lot of the text that's relevant to that particular, but only that text. It means that you cannot add any other thing. You cannot add any other thing to that, uh, text. You must just copy and paste. Okay. And I believe Flamingo is faster on the phone than the system. And we have a four minute video here. So let's see what it says. And this is how to start that thing. Hi, I'm going to be walking you through how to complete a task for the Flamingo bullet points categorization project. So in this project, you'll be reviewing short phrases, which we call bullets, selecting the appropriate categories that match two uh, parts of that bullet phrase, and copying and pasting the uh, bullet text that matches those selected categories. So the first thing you'll see when you open up one of these tasks is the bullet point here at the top. So this is what we call the bullet, bullet point or bullet phrase. Um, and we want to read it. It's very clearly outlined for you in this red box here. It might be a few words or it could be a full sentence, um, but we want, what we want to do is read through the entire bullet and think about all the pieces of information that are included. A good bullet should be readable and also convey a specific piece of information about the, about the product. After we've read through it, the next thing we want to do is look here at the product page. So we've provided a link here to the product page um, and we'll want to navigate to this link, review it to get more context about what the bullet phrase is talking about. Um, and specifically try to find exactly where that bullet is located on the product page to get as much context as possible. So we might have to scroll through the page a little bit, uh, depending on the product. Let's go ahead and navigate to that product page right now. So I've just opened up the product page here by navigating to the link. Uh, we can see that it's an oil-based cleanser, um, some sort of cleansing oil. So we want to scroll scroll through here and look for the bullet. Uh, we don't see it here. There it is, ideal for normal to dry skin. So let's go back to the task now that we've gained more context about the bullet in terms of the product. Uh, the next step we want to take is identify any element in the bullet that fits uh, a specific category. So we can see these categories here on the right. Um, and just looking through them, uh, general product information, colors and materials, style information, um, the one that seems to best fit is uh, for this bullet is probably beauty product specific because it was an oil cleanser. So let's let's drop down here, and as we can see here, skin type, right? That that matches pretty well to our bullet, ideal for normal to dry skin, and we can just look at the hint for this category. It says skin type recommendations typically limited to beauty products, examples, oily, dry, sensitive, etc. Uh, that seems to fit pretty well here. It is it is a skin type recommendation. It's ideal for norm, normal to dry skin. So let's go ahead and select this. And we get this little checkbox that comes up here uh, and a little hint. We just want to confirm that this is true. This text des describes the type of skin the product is for, not how it will make it look or feel. That is correct in this case. So we'll go ahead and select skin type. And the next thing we want to do is scroll down to the bottom here and we see this text box that comes up that asks, what is the text that describes the skin type? So we want to copy paste all parts of the bullet, but only the parts of the bullet that match that category. In this case, the entire bullet does match that category, right? Ideal from normal to dry skin, all of that applies in this category. So we will copy and paste it here. And we can see that uh, that's the only category that we want to select. We only want to cate select categories that we're sure of. Uh, if you're not sure, then don't select and don't write anything in. Um, let's go ahead and submit. And we can see that we've successfully completed the task. This will be the general flow that you follow for 
any task for this project. Right, so uh, you got that. So we go, I believe we'll be having, um, yeah. Okay, um, did you read that? Since the world, if the world is describing the name of the calculations included, it is describing the future of the product you included. So, okay, here's another video again. So, please, for us to get this. Hi, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to copy and paste the text from the bullet that fits the category into the correct text box. So the first thing we want to do is select the category um, that, that the bullet text matches, and then copy paste the text into bo the box that appears at the bottom. So in this case, one of the categories we can see from Made in USA, the category would be Origin Country. So we'll go ahead and click the Origin Country uh, category, and then we'll see the text box appear at the bottom. And specifically in this case, made in USA is the part that uh, applies. So we'll copy only this part um, and we'll do one category at a time. So first we'll do made in USA. The, the other uh, category that we could that this could fall into would be additional features because I'd also mentions that for this candle, the burn time is up to 40 hours and also is single wick. So we can also go ahead and select additional features and then it asks, what is the text that describes it? In this case, we, we want to be careful and only include the parts that apply to this. So we don't want to select Made in USA since we've already provided it. We'll select just burn time up to 40 hours and comma single wick. So now here we've, we've cut out the other details in the colon there and we've cut out the Made in USA that applies. So we'll copy only this part um, and we'll do one category at a time. So first we'll do Made in USA. The, the other uh, category that we could that this could fall into would be additional features because I'd also mentions that for this candle, the burn time is up to 40 hours and also is single wick. So we can also go ahead and select additional features. And then it asks, what is the text that describes it? In this case, we, we want to be careful and only include the parts that apply to this. So we don't want to select Made in USA since we've already provided it. We'll select just burn time up to 40 hours and comma single wick. So now here we've, we've cut out the other details in the colon there and we've cut out the Made in USA section because they do not apply to the additional features category. We can go ahead and hit submit and we've successfully completed the, t the task. Okay, so we have one because said room homemade and sited in county. The bullet is irrelevant for him. I think we have an um, origin and country. So let's see what it says. Wow. So I just end by completing the stats, this training. So you see, you just remote that sweet, lovely. Right, so we have another one.
Ти може да не го кажеш. Ти си. Не си. Не си го си да правим нещо. О-о. Ще да си дойде. Не да си мисли. Сега и... Мисли да не. Ако не. So what do you think? Is that the prototype is a mini snap to deal with product types? This may be too long. Um, set and close, zip top. I believe this is correct. Okay, so um, because dimensions and measures are together. Okay, and then and the set includes a custom visible. This is another. But we have the title as each mini snap view. So I don't need this. We don't need that it as a product type. So let's check if we're correct. Very correct. So we in another 10 set. Now, if you are a Nigerian like me, you know what it means. <laughs> Just kidding anyway. So here we have another distinct jungle lens are irrelevant, incompressible or otherwise meaningless pieces of text. Okay. Okay, this you don't need to go far, you just click it off, okay. All right, so it's a video, so you know. This is a short guide on how to identify junk bullets for the Flamingo Bullet Categorization Project. So junk bullet text uh, can include anything from irrelevant bullet text that's not related to whatever's on the product page, unreadable bullet text, uh, bullet text that contains any bits of code, um, or bullet text that's enclosed in square braces or um, or curve braces also, uh, like JSON code, for example. Uh, let's take a look at this, uh, this task here. So the bullet text here is how to use. Um, the product title is Satan, Sleep, Cap, and Blush, and we're provided with the product page here. Let's go ahead and navigate over to the product page and see uh, where the bullet is located. So this is this is the product page that we've just navigated to. Um, the product title matches up. So let's find our bullet text. And we can see it here pretty close to the top, how to use. So even though it's located on the product page, that doesn't mean that it can't be junk. In this case, it has it's irrelevant to the product. It doesn't describe the product in any way. Um, it doesn't have any useful information about the product either. Um, it's it's just not related. So in this case, we would we would consider the bullet to be junk text. Uh, so let's just navigate back over to the task. Now that we've established that it is in fact a junk bullet text, we can see this section here at the top right um, above all the other categories. This bullet is irrelevant, incomprehensible, or contains bits of code. So clearly this bullet is irrelevant in this case. Let's go ahead and select this option. Click the submit button. And we've completed the task successfully. Uh, so just make sure to keep an eye out for any junk bullets that you see while tasking. All right. Um, okay. This is a short guide on how. Oh, sure. Um, looking at this alone tells you it's full of code. This bullet is actually irrelevant. Look at the codes and all of that. So if you're looking at it, see bits of code, it's incomprehensible or the bullet is irrelevant. So we're choosing this. Let's see. Wow. Now I have made 35 cents on just doing this training. Do you understand? So you just uh, remote ask, okay, what is the correct text to copy for the category? Wow.
this game is serious for us here. Now, you know, in, in our two plus, about two pluses uh, back, we would said something that if it's describing, if it's de describing the category, there was no need, but if it's describing the The, the product then there's a need so i think the right answer is sell okay i think i'm not sure but let's check i know did i miss it sure okay so i was thinking between this and this so um Yes, I should. Self doesn't. Self is not relevant. Okay. So, uh, okay. I see made another 15 though. 15 cents. So, approximately, I've gotten a lot of cents today. Yeah. You are done. So, how easy to. This is how to use your mobile phone. This is what you just need to pass on your mobile phone and you start tasking, okay? Start tax. and say, I'm going to show you a video of me working on my mobile phone very soon, but let's just go here. Let's do some, okay, chess view. And there's no folder for this. I'm a little concerned about this, okay, chess width is 23 inches okay um size and weight reverts product width this is not a list of multiple measures here yeah. it's not the right product width okay it's the right product width so we have um 23 inches I think I think the whole is the same as me but I think I think the whole is the same as me but the reason I think so is because uh so we can know what we can't even find the word okay wait wait a second all right it's okay we just have this for three inches so you need to okay in three inches so me yeah we want to please fix the stars please fix the tax before sending some of this email to owner or run it down sometimes i do in the case that there's a product tax okay Mailing error. I think because it's my first tax on this, so I got to submit now. Wow, forty four percent. So I was correct. So uh, it's not that easy to meet up with this, but okay. So, please be fast network. And see my time is running so i really need to be fast on each tax that's given to me i had 10 minutes and 23 minutes on that tax earlier 
um, which is not too good. So so let me see what's happening here. Um, wow, just that that. So there, this is how to do run it. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. Should do this all the time. I do like that that is my I rarely do um um Text that is like this, so I think it's submitting. We need to get the rest from soon. Come on, please. All right, hundred percent is back to queue, so we're going back to queue for another task. So this is how easy it is to work with remote tasks from your um. You can do Flamingo tasks now, I believe, from your phone. My name is Oriola Ajumon. Thank you for always um, staying around. Or should we do this? The dam is a halter neck in it, right? Turtle cut out at the neck in it, rather. Same detail, it runs up down the dress twice. Okay, so I think this is all that. Additional features and I think they need to work on how to remove this stuff from here. Is that it? So I want to remove the additional features. But on your mobile phone, it doesn't happen just like this. So, uh, doesn't happen like this so very similar future to uh, future said to me if you will get up here so yeah the don is a hot and neat was a vicious turtle cut out of the neck to a radial assist that information very cool half turn Fall on the style. All right, let's see the progress. Meanwhile, we can copy this if we need. Your first few tasks they will weigh look at thirty percent fourteen. This has to do with materials. So
so we're going to import delay. I think So thank you for joining me today. My name is Oriola Ajuma. Please don't forget to subscribe. We've done really justice to this. Please subscribe and like.